I'm just going to put this up on YouTube. It's going to be a short little tutorial video on uh, how to set your controls. If you've got things like, uh, well, you know, if you've got a joystick or if you've gone and uh, gotten a uh, flight yoke with buttons on it and maybe you've got a uh, uh, throttle quadrant with buttons on it maybe you've gotten the foot pedals and everything like that and some things are just not happening like they should uh, you could have a conflict and especially if you've loaded up FSUS IPC um, that conflict can show up in uh, prepared and it can also show up in Flight Simulator X. So we're going to go with prepared. Microsoft Flight Simulator X works exactly the same way. Uh, they've changed a few names to protect the guilty or whatever, but it all works the same. So let's start off with with uh, prepared 3D or prepared, and uh, we'll get going. We'll uh, configure some controls. Alrighty then, let me get my menu bar up here and we'll get to it. I'm going to show you something that happens. Uh, it's really how I noticed what was going on um, with the conflict uh, with FSUS IPC and uh, prepared uh, thing. If you'll notice my screen here, I have enable controllers unchecked. That's so that FSU IPC can take over and do it all. But I'm going to check it and then I'm going to go to the buttons and keys and you'll see here it's got flight simulator yoke uh, USB uh, selected which is fine. That's what I want to use. Uh, to demonstrate this and I'm going to go down here uh, to the brakes and let's see what we've got here I'm looking for the parking brake here we go brake set parking okay I am going to create a new assignment and I'm gonna push a button on my controller button one which is the same one that I used for this in FSU IPC uh, okay and it'll take a minute get back here. Oh, let's turn the sound off here alright now FSU IPC is one of my add-ons we'll go there and we will go over here to buttons and switches and I'm going to press that same button and you'll notice that when I do pops up and says it has that assigned to the parking brakes and that's fine and dandy that's what I want there also but here's the problem I can push the button all day long and my parking brakes don't get set. The reason for that is that I also have the button assigned and prepared and there's a conflict. What happens is the button gets shown as pushed twice so the parking brakes go on and off and you never see it. So the way to fix that is to go back to options, go down to your settings, go to controls buttons and keys and scroll down until you find the one you just set brakes parking right there go ahead and delete that assignment click OK wait for the screen to go back and now you'll notice that my parking brakes set can see it down here in the lower left corner 
where my mouth cursor is. Each time I push the button, it toggles the parking brakes. That works. Now your next conflict is going to be with your controllers, with your uh, yoke and your throttle quadrant and all of that. Uh, let's go with the throttle quadrant for now. I have it set to be controlled in both FSUI PC and prepared because if you'll notice I have enable controllers checked. There could be a conflict there. You want all of your controls either controlled by prepared or by FSUI PC. You don't want both of them uh, sending information to the program about where your axes are or which buttons and keys are being pressed. Unclicking that right there, <laughs> get rid of the check mark, enables FSUI PC to send the information uh, over to prepared and there won't be a conflict. This works exactly the same way uh, in FSX as it does here. A little bit of terminology different, that's, that's no big deal. Um, you can use your joystick to uh, do all of your controls here, there, and yonder if you want. Um, and everything will be fine. But just when you're using FSUI PC uh, to send control information over to prepared or FSX, either one, then do not allow the native prepared or native FSX uh, controller options to conflict. You're going to have some uh, surprising operation sometimes if you do you know uh, use one or the other now in prepared if you use FSUI PC whatever settings you set in FSUI PC will be pretty much universal um, they'll apply to every airplane there unless um, you decide to have specific profiles. Uh, if you do that, then then great. Uh, that's up to you. You can have a profile for each aircraft that you fly uh, in the simulator, and that that works fine. Um, you can do that uh, with your uh, axis assignments. Uh, make them profile specific. Uh, right here it says profile specific you can click that and it wants to know if you want to apply all the assignments to that aircraft so anything you already have set up you can apply to that aircraft uh, otherwise you can start with a blank slate uh, click yes to apply them all or click no to start with a blank slate um, I want my control settings now applied to every aircraft because I'm just starting out and it seems to work out okay to, with uh, for me uh, with that. So, you know, I don't have to relearn different uh, what buttons are set where, uh, which control axis controls what, and all of that stuff. Um, I can move any axis I want and assign it anywhere I want. Um, let's clear that out and as you can see I have this axis set sends it direct to uh, FSUI PC calibration and it's connected to the throttle control so that's what I want all the time and I don't see any reason to change it. Uh, for now, perhaps if I get into more uh, detailed uh, flights with different aircraft, I will.
So that's the, uh, the little short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know uh, of any issues you've got down in the comments here on Facebook.